Yeah, good morning. This is uh, Frank. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, but I've been busy. Um, and I thought, okay, I got a new subscriber uh, this week, so that was a nice incentive to make a, a new video about some things I've made. And one of them is this one. It's from Zvezda and it's Russian. It's a Russian brand, yes, I know. But I'm still supporting Ukraine. Um, and uh, they're now doing our fight against the Nazis of my era. Putin and his uh, click. Um, but you cannot condemn everything uh, which was uh, going on before that. So, and this is one of them. Um, it was a mustache already. So I didn't buy it after the invasion. So, um, I think, okay, this is all right to do. Um, if you don't agree, well, that's your opinion. And you, you know what Americans say about opinions. Um, okay, um, so this is four figures. Um, it's a Soviet assault separate team. This is the back uh, with the building instructions. You can see four figures in the wall. Um, and uh, one guy, this one here with a flamethrower. That's a, a Rox 3 flamethrower. I think it can go up to 45 meter bursts. bursts. And um, this one and this one is armed with a a PPS 1942 or 1943. You cannot see from the outside which which model it is. This one has a stick grenade, uh, and this is um, a DP 1928 or a model 1944 light machine gun. And yeah, nice wall around it. So okay, let's see what I've made about from that. So this is the um, yeah, this is the wall from the other side, which is also nicely modeled. I made some more. There were already some in it, but I made some more uh, bullet holes. The color is uh, Vallejo orange brown. At least that was the start. Then I've. Um, Made some uh, shades and highlights, and then here you can see the first figures. So it's they all have metal breastplates. I've seen some pictures of um, soldiers with that, but I don't think it was quite common because it's also quite heavy. To make a nice a nice set, I've added some um, wooden planks. They are actually split up uh, matches. Yeah, not much more to say about that. It was very easy to build, and also very easy to paint. So. I also did the eyes, which I always do, what size it is, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, this one also has a Panzerfaust, so I captured Panzerfaust. So I guess this is uh, somewhere in a German city, probably Berlin or whatever, where they are. Yeah, very nice models. Yeah, okay, so what else did I do in the meantime? Um, I finished the 28mm Perry Afghan set completely. That I will put on, on a video. I've also done um, from one, one in 35mm scale Dragon, uh, a German sniper set. 
installs already. And I have also some other projects going on, which I will not film before. They are completely ready. And it includes some things I've shown in earlier videos. So, but, well, I'm still building, still painting. And I hope you also do that and enjoy yourself. So that's it for me for this film. See you. Bye.